Hey guys, today we're looking at doing a bunch of experiments over the next couple of days, um, but today we just thought we would give you a, a bit of a quick look at what we're trying to do. We've got some ultraviolet LED strips, um, either Wish or uh, Ali, uh, AliExpress or Alibaba or somewhere, um, and then we got these, um, which are phosphorescent powders uh, in different colours. These you know, they're, they're used to as pigments for anything and everything, but um, I think these ones are a little tiny containers because they're for, um, they're for fingernail art. Um, so these ones I've just pulled apart and it's really messy packaging. It's a bit of a pain in the bum. Um, I've got phosphorescent stuff all over the place, um, but you can see under the light how they do uh, get a bit excited and how they grow. These three here, out of the um, range of colours in this set, are probably the best three. And it looks like one, two, mm, yeah, one, two, uh, the best. So it seems like the yellows and the greens are better than the blues and the oranges. Um, although these ones here are kind of okay. Uh, the lighter colours seem to work better than the uh, than the darker colours. What we're essentially trying to achieve here is look at an alternative option for a backlight panel. So if we can, instead of having a matrix of white LEDs um, on both faces that draws a lot of power, which makes it really hard to uh, run on uh, battery power for any reasonable length of time, um, if we can look at changing the methodology behind the backlight setup so that we can use these around the outside, which gives us a lot less LEDs that we're trying to power. Will that give us enough light through a clear substrate to then shine through a clear layer that is dosed with one or some of these colors to be able to glow and then create that backlight? I don't know, but that's the experiment. We'll be having a play with that over the next few days. Um, and we'll come back and let you know how that all went. Cheers.